Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. I'm Rich Walsh, solo tonight, so give me a call, 412-575-2600 is the number. we got a lot to talk about, a lot of games going on. Pitt is one of the big games, and the Panthers lost their sixth straight game here tonight. Today, earlier today, they're losing to NC State. They've been struggling down the stretch, just like the Penguins have been struggling. Uh, the Penguins are going to be playing here. The puck drops in about right now, I think. So, um, But the Panthers, another tough one at NC State. Um, losing it was close towards the end, and you can see Xavier Johnson had a pretty good first half, hit two threes early on. Game was tied at 14, 17 14, and then inside with authority. So, Johnson, you know, this guy can do a lot here. He's a point guard for the Panthers, uh, but he's very streaky. Uh, Dees Tony had another good game in the state of North Carolina with the putback. Uh, and Pitt had the lead up until about six minutes to go in this game. Um, NC State goes on a run. That was big right there. Hellums, he scored nine points in three minutes, and this was huge right here. They went on an 8-0 run. Uh, Pitt tried to come back. Tony hits the three. And that was close as they would get. They had an opportunity uh, to get within two. But this is my frustration with Xavier Johnson. He just takes bad shots at the end of games to try to win it. Um, and I, I don't know what it is. It, it's, I've seen it more often than not, it seems like, with Johnson and McGowan just taking shots that maybe they shouldn't have taken at the end of games and put him in bad situations like that one uh, right there. So Pitt loses another tough one. One more game for the Panthers uh, Wednesday night at Georgia Tech. So if you want to give us a call, 412-575-2600 on the Borders, Borders Hotline. We can talk about the Panthers. How about those Buccos? They get their first win of spring training. They're 1-7-1 and one now. You can raise it finally for the first time this spring, beating the Twins. Derek Shelton's former team, uh, Derek Holland, he was on fire. Two and two plus innings, two and two thirds, scoreless innings. But he's vying for that final spot in the rotation. He retired eight of the first nine batters. Jose Asuna, now this is the guy that potentially could take over at first base for Josh Bell. If they decide to trade him somewhere, try to get something for him. And I wouldn't be opposed to that. You know, I was, uh, I was talking to a couple guys about it uh, when I was in spring training. They could get a lot for Josh Bell, and I, I would look to try to deal him at the trade deadline. I don't know what you guys think, but I, I would like to see this group uh, be all around the same age, all, you know, all coming up together, if that's what you're going to do, because Josh Bell is not going to be here uh, beyond three, three seasons. He has three seasons left with the, con with the, with the Pirates they're not going to be able to afford him. So the best time to trade him would probably be next offseason, this trade deadline, or next trade deadline. He's going to be gone sometime in the next year and a half. So you want to get something for him. Uh, when is the right time? You know, are they fielding offers now? That I don't know. Uh, but at the trade deadline, if he's hot, if he's real hot, you might want to look to get something for him. You'd get a way better deal than the Marte deal. you get a ton of prospects, and that could put you right back to where you used to be. That could put you in at a, at a strength almost, um, even though the team wouldn't be good this year and next year. I'm not expecting it to be good this year and maybe not next year, but let's target 2022 or 2023. And if you're, you're getting all these assets from guys like Josh Bell, hopefully you can get something for Chris Archer, maybe Keone Kella, um, Adam Frazier. I don't know what that would bring you back in return, but Josh Bell, Archer, Keone Kella, those guys could get you a significant return, and then this team could be in position to do something in 2022. All right, 412-575-2600 is the number. Back in a couple minutes. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, putting new roofs on Pittsburgh homes for over 25 years. Call Ireland Contracting at 1-800-NEW-ROOF. 